Good morning from Carowinds. We are so excited to be here. This is our first time at this park. What are you most excited for? I'm most excited to ride Fury today. I know, and we're here on opening weekend, which was awesome. It's beautiful, not a cloud in the sky. Now, without further ado, let's go get on Fury. Ride on Fury 325. It was really great. It was awesome. Airtime, speed, it has it all. This might be the best BM period. Don't you agree? I think it could be. Well, we're gonna get a couple more rides on it and then explore the rest of the park. So how was that second ride on Fury 325? It was really good. I can't wait to come back later today. It's going to be awesome. Well, anyway, we're going to make our way over to Copperhead Strike, the mock multi-launch. We're going to ride Copperhead Strike, but it went down. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ride Afterburn, the park's excellent B&M Invert, are you excited? Yeah, let's go. So how was that ride on Afterburn? Um, it was better near the front than in the back. It was really shaky in the back. Yeah, the positive G's in the back row it, are just, it rattles. This B&M is really good, but it definitely has a rattle. But anyway, it's 25 years old. And if you're short like me, keep your head forward. Definitely. So we just got off of Woodstock Express. What'd you think of that family coaster? <laughs> well, you know, we sat in the back row and we actually got a little bit of air time, so not too bad. Yeah, the first major two drops had way too much air time than I went <laughs> and anticipated, so Anyway, we're gonna go explore the rest of the park. that ride two rides on <laughs> copperhead strike it was really great i really like the jojo roll at the beginning the jojo roll the vertical loops the airtime the whip the hang time this ride is awesome and carowinds really hit a home run with this thing and mock rides launches are not forceless there is some kick to it so definitely don't knock don't hate on the launches well anyway we're gonna go check out the rest of the park but first lunch so we just finished lunch now where are we headed thunder striker yes we're gonna go ride the b&m hyper 
that opened in 2010. And after that, we'll let you know. And we'll see how it compares to Apollo's Chariot, Candemonium, and Nitro. Sounds good. So how was that, those two rides on Thunderstriker? It was a good ride. I think I like it more than Apollo's Chariot. Yes, and the first half is really good, especially when the trims do not hit. We had two rides where the trims did not hit at all, and the turnaround was forceful, the airtime was good. You get ejected on that first airtime hill turning into the main portion of the ride, but the second half of the ride after the mid-course brake run is forceless to to be nice about it. It's much better in the back. But anyway, we're gonna go get some coffee. So we just got coffee. What type of coffee do we get? We got a black iced coffee. <laughs> yes, and now that we are caffeinated, we are gonna go make our way to Copperhead Strike for some more re-rides. Copper head strike. Mock rides, that ride is just pure fun. Ejector airtime, whippy transitions, hang time. What do you think? I really enjoy it. It's amazing and it could not have been a better addition for the park. And it's the number it's our number two in the park. It's incredible. And we need more of these, especially in the United States. We got the credit. <laughs> What'd you think? Well, it was a kiddie ride, but it wasn't bad, I guess. <laughs> it was really good. There's a little bit of air time throughout the ride. It's great. But anyway, we're going to go ride Fury. So how are those two more rides on Fury 325? I definitely love it in the back row. The back row is incredible. The airtime, the first drop feels like it goes on forever. We'll definitely be back to close the night on it, but we're gonna go ride Thunder Striker for a couple more times and get back to Fury. So how was Thunder Striker? It was good. It was a walk-on and we got two rides in the back row, finally. <laughs> the back row rides on those back staggered seats are incredible. The coaster is all floater airtime, but it the second half shines in the back row, which is awesome. Well anyway, we're gonna get a couple more rides on Fury. So Fury 325 is an incredible coaster. It's a legend. What do you think? It was definitely a great ride and I'm glad we stuck 
started and ended our weekend with Fury. Yeah, we came yesterday and got all the credit so we could come back solely for today to lap Fury, Thunderstriker, and of course, Copperhead Strike. But Fury was absolutely incredible. We're gonna make our way to the front of the park and we'll talk to you soon. So that's gonna be it for this amazing trip to Carowinds. What'd you think? I think it's a great park. It's a great park. It was our first time and we just had an incredible time. We lapped Fury, got Thunderstriker. Copperhead Strike is one of the most underrated roller coasters in the country. And we are definitely gonna be back. We are so excited and stay tuned for more content from Coaster Adventures and we will see you at another park.